Are you pulling your forehand wider than the Grand Canyon? Are you shanking more than a prison inmate? Well, then you might have fallen victim to the dreaded windshield wiper misunderstanding. I know you think you see what the pros are doing, but remember, this portion of the swing close to contact happens too fast for the human eye to see. Now, if you slow it down and look at where it matters, here is what you see. And here. And here. Most people confuse the follow through and recovery with the actual hit, what happens close to contact. If you really insist on using this wrist and forearm link added to your forehand ground stroke, here's the drill you want to do to make sure you're doing it right. I want you to go out to the backhand corner of the court and start hitting inside out forehands. No, I'm not encouraging you to run around your backhand. I just want you to get the feeling of swinging truly inside out away from your body out to the target before you relax around. Now what you want to do is move to the other side of the court and try to duplicate that same feeling and swing even when you're going cross court. What you'll find is the swing doesn't actually change very much. You're just going to make contact a little bit more in front of your body, changing your positioning to the ball rather than the swing. Another drill you can do is go out and drop hit balls in the doubles alley. Feel like your swing is staying in the doubles alley up until after the ball has gone. You're also going to try to hit the ball in the doubles alley. What you'll find is the follow through really has no effect on the ball itself. So basically just try to use your shoulder longer and more than your wrist and elbow. You're going to have a bigger hitting zone and you're also going to get more compression on the ball. I hope the information and drills here help you out. Please if you like the video there's a button for that. Also consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.